Namo Buddhaya. Welcome to yet another episode in Buddhist meditation series. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the two ways of practicing loving kindness meditation. Coming right up. Our great teacher Supreme Buddha taught us there are two ways to practice loving kindness meditation. One is Mahagata Cheto Vimukti, and the other one is Apamana Cheto Vimukti. Mahagata Cheto Vimukti means the expansive liberation of the mind, and Apamana Cheto Vimukti means limitless liberation of the mind. So we are going to talk about these things. So first of all, let's talk about Mahagata Cheto Vimukti, how to practice this method of uh, loving kindness meditation. Well, there's a certain way to practice this. First of all, when we look at the word Mahagata, it means the expansiveness. That means we are expanding our love and kindness from one step to the other, step by step. Right? So that is one way. Mahagata Cheto Vimukti. There's another word. What do you mean by Cheto Vimukti? Cheto means the mind. Vimukti means liberation. So the liberation of the mind in an expansive way. So what do we liberate our mind from? We liberate our mind from anger, hatred, and jealousy and all the other evil thoughts that is arising inside our mind. So when we do the loving kindness meditation, we practice more love and kindness and compassion. When you practice it, your heart and your mind is liberated from anger, hatred, ill will, jealousy and other, other thoughts like that. So that is what we call the liberation of the mind, Cheto Vimukti. So how to practice this Mahagata Cheto Vimukti? As the first step, we are starting to spread the love and kindness to ourselves. Like, you think, may I be free from anger. When you think that, you need to wish it, you need to mean it, and you, you need to feel it, right? May I be free from jealousy. May I be free from ill will. May I be free from mental suffering, physical suffering. In that way, you start to spread the love and kindness towards yourself first. Right? Once you are fulfilled with your own love and kindness, once you are filled with your own loving, loving kindness, then as the next step, we expand our thoughts of loving kindness and we try to spread that love and kindness to the beings around us, right? Maybe if you are sitting in a, if you are doing the meditation in a room, you can consider the room. May all the beings in this room, seen or unseen, may all these beings in this room be free from anger. May they be free from ill will. May they be free from jealousy. Like that you need to expand your thoughts of loving kindness to the room. Then you can take your home. You can exp expand the area of your uh, spreading of loving kindness. You can consider your home and you can think, may all the beings in, this, in my home be free from anger. You need to spread that love and kindness to the home. Then you can consider your village or city or town that you are living. And take that town, consider from it from your mind, and then you need to spread your loving kindness towards them equally. Right? Now, in every time, remember when you say that may they be free from anger, you need to mean it and you need to feel it. That is what we need in meditation. If it was just a phrase, now you don't feel it. If you did not feel it, it's not successful, right? So you need to mean it and you need to feel it. 
right? If you, if you can do that, you're enjoying the meditation and you feel that peacefulness within you. Okay, so we spread the loving kindness to our beings in our city. Then we expand that area to maybe to our country, right? Then we expand that loving kindness to our world, right? This whole earth. And then we can expand our thoughts of loving kindness from our earth to this solar system and from to the universe it is sort of like a ripple right it is starting from very little point that means from yourself and little by little from step by step we are expanding the area of our spreading of loving kindness right so from yourself to your room right from your room to your home from your home to your village or city, from your city to your country, from your country to this whole earth, and from your planet to this whole universe. That is the way of spreading loving kindness in Mahagatha method, or the expansive uh, liberation of the mind. Then we come to the second step and second way of spreading love and kindness. What is that? Appamana Cheto Vimukti, limitless liberation of the mind. So how to do that? In this way, in this method of meditation, we consider, like we considered about the, uh, the room and the land area in the Mahagatha method, we are considering about the directions of this world. Now, if you are sitting here, then you can imagine the direction, right? You can imagine and you can consider the beings who are living in the northern direction, right? When you consider the northern direction, it is limitless, right? You can consider and you can spread to the, your love and kindness unlimitedly, without any stopping point, without any point, right? Without any ending point uh, to this world. When you consider the northern direction right then you have to think think that may all the beings in the northern direction be well and happy may they live long may they live in peace you have to spread that love and kindness to that direction then you can go to the northeast direction you can consider that direction and consider all the beings and each and every living being right small big right seen or unseen each and every living being let your love and kindness to spread and reach into those living beings right so you spread considering about the direction northeast and then east then you go to southeast then southwest and then northwest like that you consider all the eight directions right north direction north east direction east direction and then south east direction south west direction and north west direction consider one direction out at one time and spread your love and kindness by thinking may all the beings in this direction be free from anger may they be free from ill will May they be free from jealousy. Like that, you have to think again and again, right? Then, these are the eight directions. There are two other directions left. What are those two directions? The upper direction and the lower direction, right? The beings who are, who are living in upper direction, you can spread your love and kindness to the beings who are living in the upper direction. And then lower direction from your sitting place to the to lower to beneath your sitting place right so these are the 10 directions that you can spread the love and kindness so when you spread your love and kindness in uh, apamana cheto vimukti or limitless liberation of the mind it is sort of like a globe that you are spreading love and kindness so these are the two ways that you can practice the loving kindness meditation right 
But remember, these are not so much complicated things, right? Take them as so peaceful and easy things, right? You don't want to make it complicated and so stressful. Just think about them and just spread your loving kindness according to these two methods. When you do that, your meditation will be a perfect loving kindness meditation. So practice loving kindness meditation as much as possible and every day and enjoy an anger and hatred free life. Namo Buddhaya.